Seven Street is cursing out me and Laura Styles. Yes, I am. Why? Because every time, okay, I'm like, last time I was here, I had Laura. Me and you, was, it was one. Okay. Now today is two. When am I going to get like all three of y'all up here? I'm, Look, I'm feeling some type listen, of way. Listen, the last time you was here, I had another appointment. I saw mm -hmm. you when you was coming, and y'all was running late the last time. I don't care. So you I weren't here. Run. I had to go. I'm, this time I'm here. Listen, huh. Rosenberg barely comes to work. Yeah. Okay, well, so I'm going to need him to come to work issue. when 7 here. He's on vacation with his wife. Okay, I love his wife, too, but he needs to come here when 7 here. <laughs> hey, Rosenberg wife, how you doing, boo? I love you, too. 7 has a new project. Uh, Should have been there, part one. It's a prelude yes. to an album that we don't know when it's coming out. Yeah, that's the truth. And don't say it like that, Ebro. I get sensitive. I take my time with my music. Don't make me feel bad. I'm not trying to make you feel bad. God. I was just letting the audience know that I this do. is the beginning of a new journey. It is. That's absolutely. No, it really should have been there. Part one is absolutely like, oh, it was like some stuff I needed to get off my chest. Like I wrote these records. It's about six of them. I wrote them when I was like in a different relationship in a different space, and I just I didn't want to I didn't want to carry that over into my album. I didn't want the energy there because right now I am happy and just happy and in a good space. So, um, I so just, now Bob got to hear you talk about some other dude. Is what is what you're yes, telling he'll us. be okay. I am an artist and I'm sensitive about uh -huh. my shit, so he understands. Okay, he don't care. He's an artist. He write how he feel. I write uh -huh. how I feel. We don't take it personal. So with should have been their part one um yes it was about the things that i went through in my last relationship mm. um but i'm not in that space now but somebody may be and that's why i that's wanted right. to put the records out so it'll be therapy for somebody you know yeah well yeah. seven has a way of uh having relationship debates i think that's probably one of your favorite things to discuss i just like to talk about anything like real like things that you've been through i've been through and that's how like i write a lot of my records like even on should have been there that's we have like interludes throughout the whole thing and the interludes are really like debates about the different concepts of different of the different records but it's between men and women and we had a couple of little drankity drank drank so everybody was feeling oh, loose as a goose boy. and real nice i mean i like it yeah it was good like for example, like one of the, um, for example, the first song in there is called Consistent. And the question was, you know, is it okay to like forfeit the things that you really want, you know, in a relationship in order just to have somebody there, somebody being around? So somebody got, that's consistent, somebody that's consistent, because I feel like not even I feel like I've been there before and I realized he was consistent, but he was consistently average and, you know, not giving me exactly what I needed. You Laura know? Styles, or do you what have I an want. opinion here? No, yes, because I, 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 I <laughs> listen. Mm -hmm. When I when it comes to relationships, she I haven't. Sucks. I haven't been she the best. Sucks. Basically, she sucks. I haven't. Okay, and not, okay, no, and no, no, not no. literally. It, I like, hate you. I'm it's sure not, I hate you. Too, but I mean, also, she should literally. I she should do it. No, no, no. And I do. I don't have a problem. Okay, I'm just making sure you do. That was gonna be a whole other conversation. No, no, no. That was gonna be a whole other conversation. Sorry, you told us that. I'm sorry. I've never. It's okay. Hold on. There's too much going on right now. Okay, go ahead. What are you claiming that I don't do? I didn't say you didn't do anything. I said you do. He said that you suck. B in but relationships. Like, yes. Yeah, but and you, in relationships. In rela yeah, both ways. Both. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. <laughs> I have no complaints. In That's the what we're Are you saying? Sure? That was a compliment. Absolutely. I'm I suck good. too. But listen, but listen. Okay, so we're, we're good. We're here. We all suck. We hey, well, fellas, not, not everybody. I love well, my not job. Suck. well, you don't. Well, he doesn't. Well, well, he should. He kind should. Of. Kind of. <laughs> oh, I slurp, man. I slurp. Oh. <laughs> I oh, slurp, so I drink. Okay, don't even oh, open them up to that because they said you're becoming a wild right. beast. As you drink, should, God damn it. Slurp. Okay, sorry. No, you know wait. Whoa, we digress. <laughs> we digress. No, I want to I mean, know your opinion. Y'all want to go in. We go in. You know what I mean? I mean. I'm a grown ass man. No. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. No, nah, I want to know your opinion on it, though. No, because recently in the last person I was seeing, I felt, okay, mm -hmm. I was like, you know, some people are like, yo, listen, not everyone's going to be perfect yet. I understand that. But he. I hate it that I, I work a lot, right? And I love what I do for a living. Right. But I hated that he didn't. Oh, really? He didn't what? He didn't he, work? No, he didn't work hard oh. at all. Was, she felt like he was lazy. Yes. Oh, that's, and oh, that was a big no. problem. For, did he make me happy? Yes. Was the sex good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Did he treat me good? Yes. But it was a huge problem for me. And so, sometimes we were like, yo... They were like, who, sometimes you have to, like, you know, compromise. But I feel like, why should I compromise? I mean, I think compromising is not a bad youngins, thing. Youngins, no, no, no. Youngins. Compromising isn't a bad thing. Like, that's not a bad youngins. thing. But you, okay, people, some people have deal breakers. You know what I mean? So maybe that's one of your deal yes. breakers. That's a deal breaker for me, too. If you don't go as hard okay. and work as hard Thank as I you. work, we can't be together. But there will be times in your life when you want to slow down. You okay. won't, hopefully, 
you'll take some time and then just enjoy life and you won't always work as hard as you're working now yeah. which is why you're working hard now is so that at some point you, have to you don't have much. to Got and it. I do agree that you want a partner this mm -hmm. is men and women feel this mm -hmm. that you guys are somewhat evenly yoked right like Absolutely. I yes. believe that yes. when one person is working real hard and the other person is not the person that's not tends to hey what you doing how's your day going you like motherfucker I'm at work you exactly. at home on the couch. You, you ask me all these goddamn questions for Ex bro that's exactly. exactly what I was going through I'm like how do you have a free time but, all the time but <laughs> but you have to be able to say hey <laughs> I really like being with you and I really but this bothers me have don't, a conversation about it don't, did you tell him about it listen I don't don't text me him. and tell me you doing nothing let's talk when we're both doing nothing and that way right. we can kind of connect on the doing nothing part and you don't have to hold them I'm just saying because in life <laughs> you do have to compromise yeah I, I understand that but I feel like and I there think are things on your list this is ladies. a deal breaker for me there are fellas and ladies okay there are things on your list mm -hmm. that you're going to have to deal with if you want. Nobody's going to be perfect. Nobody's Wait, no, 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 no. I don't know. Your list should consist of your deal breakers. Anything outside of that some you don't list, have, you shouldn't deal right, with. Right, but some people's list is things that they want, not the deal breakers. You okay, said okay, they okay, made okay, their list that. wrong. I get that. Okay, well, they need to make a different kind and of And that's list. a different conversation. Yeah. Your list of things are, are what you're not going to deal with right. versus what you would like to have. Right. Because the haves... You, yeah. don't, you ain't going to get everything. You're not going to get all of those. That's you, not and how that list, your haves, your haves list and things that you want, that list going to be from here to the not right. It's nonstop. Go. It's nonstop. Yeah, so yeah, do and, a list and of by the way, And yeah. by the way, some people called me shallow for me for feeling like this. Yes, they did. That's not shallow. I don't think it's shallow. No, that's not shallow. Listen, I don't shallow. care. Listen, I could be with a man that makes less money than me, and but I'm guys, okay with that as long as he's working guys, hard and he has a goal. We're good, guys, man. Guys, guys. I'm okay with that. Guys, we're workers, though. All of everybody sitting here in this room are career-minded, goal-setting, goal-getting individuals. Right. Yeah. Not everyone relates to that. Some people, get a they're not chasing a career. They want a job so but, that they can pay some bills and have as much free time. But jobs are fine, too, as long as you got one. Long... Some people don't live like this that. This is gonna be my next. We gonna have. We gonna do this again. No, cause like these are the type of conversations that like we create the songs from. Like this is gonna be our next. It might be on the should have been there part two, but like our next set of interludes, we gotta have this type of conversation. We can. We, we definitely can. can. We have to. Because there are people. There are look. There are women mm -hmm. who are okay keeping a man, and there are men who are okay being kept, and right. vice versa. There and are. This is true. That's just the dynamics, and that woman who's a career woman who doesn't need anything. Thing from a man, she don't need him to pay for nothing. She don't mm -hmm. need him to do nothing yeah. other than show up, make her laugh, blow her back out, yep. and watch a movie. That's his job. Fix a light bulb. Yeah. That's his job. Yeah, but, but you know, why do you think? Why do you think that a lot of men are intimidated by women who have careers, who have their own money, who don't need? A I man? think I I think there are men who are intimidated because they're insecure. Okay, so hmm. that let's put that aside. But okay. I think a majority of men is not that they're intimidated by a woman who has her goals and things like that. A man that has something. When he gets home from his hard working day, he wants to see his lady, he wants to fuck her, he wants to talk nasty to her, and a career woman in a in that type of relationship, guess what? Careful she's with got, your words. She's got her own shit to do. She's not gonna just be at your what? beck and call all the time. Okay, maybe she's not, not all the time, time beck and call, I'm but I'm a we career woman too. and we make time for everything just, you just named. Can I yes. just tell you the man's perspective without y'all getting upset about the truth? Nah, that, I'm all swollen up in the chest, is that, bro. Is that like a no. foul ball to tell the F truth. Because all the time? that's not the whole truth. That's not my truth. Okay. Right, my woman's a career woman. All right, right? All right, all right, all right. She works hard. She that's what she wants to do. And she she's still not makes a, time for the things yeah, you Yeah, she's not a state. But see, I I don't I don't require that much attention. I don't want you always See? at the crib. I don't want you doing everything for me. I don't want that. I want you, your work and your effort and all of that inspires me right. to be like my woman's right. dope and I want you to be a part of my family because you're dope. See, okay. the, uh, but I that's that. but that I had sense. to get to that point. Yeah. Right? Because there was a point. I've been working in radio when I was 15. So when I'm in my young 20s, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, man, I'm done working. Where you at? <laughs> and she's like, well, I'm you working now. I'm be like, look, you're never available when I need you. Done. Got it. But Ooh. you have to grow to that point hmm. where you're like, look, you can have somebody that's available when you need them, but guess what? They're also available when you don't need them and they're on your fucking nerves. Ugh. So you gotta. This is true. You gotta figure that out. But that also comes with age, out. Ebro? Yes. I need to find me a 40, 40 year old. <laughs> I mean, listen. The Damn. 40s is, you know, men in their 40s that have worked hard and have accomplished things are prepared to be more compromising I think because that's they're great. patient and their, their, their needs are a little bit more uh, mellow. 
See, if I you just, will. I, that's my my. I just no. I just need somebody. Well, not need somebody. You I disagree? Have, you I have, have somebody. somebody. Yeah, who like we do the same thing. So it's like it works for us. Like he is out working and getting his, and I'm not working and getting mine. And it's not like a. I don't get like the you know it's we work it out and make it's perfect right. for me and then this is like the this is the first real time that I've been in this type of predicament where we did the same thing and like we're kind of very like minded so yeah that so let me ask you this for, for you guys and I'm sure there's people who are in relationship marriages whatever and they're right. both very career minded right and both parties being very very busy mm-hmm. right can have its own friction Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how do you guys manage time like what's your way of managing time so that you make time for the relationship because that's a thing right like it takes if you want to be in a relationship it takes effort yeah no you know what me and me and bob we do we do good for one the fact that we are in the same business it works out a lot because i live in la he lives in atlanta so he has to work a lot in la i have to work a lot in atlanta so that part of it works but aside from that when i don't have to work in atlanta and i still really want to see my and he still want to see his girl like i'm quick to let Brittany know hey I got to get on this bird. I got to go down to Atlanta. I need, uh, yo. So like, you make time for what you want to make time for, and then in between, like, you know, it's FaceTime. You FaceTime. It's like you have to take advantage of all this technology a little bit too. So mm-hmm. FaceTime is of like course. my best friend. How long have you guys been together now? Ooh, like officially since the top of the year, but we definitely like we've been friends and stuff like that before. And I know y'all be giving me that look, like, okay, no, how long y'all been doing? <laughs> how long y'all been? We dating? No, because no, everybody I'm glad always you went there because I just got slid a note from one of the ladies <laughs> that said seven got with Bob after Eggplant Friday got popping because he's the father of Eggplant <laughs> oh Friday, and, and she saw what it was and she was like, I'll take him, please. I def- I mean, listen, I, <laughs> I, 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 I the talk boy let let her god no i was about to say um <laughs> i made the mistake in the past where you know and i, I don't think i'm the only woman you slept with this somebody was, before, that was you a got yes a, or no question. before you got a title no i'm about to get all the way into uh-huh. it Ebro. we talking god um no it was official like at the top of the at the top of the year but i always joke with him because i was like i think it's so funny that i didn't give you none until you put a title on and i just think it's hilarious so it's awesome yeah top of the year what does that have to do with eggplant friday <laughs> oh i don't know i mean the eggplant i get the eggplant so what do you mean it has everything to do with eggplant okay, friday there you go. it's my eggplant that's did, right say that shit dude. shit did uh and it's now, awesome. see now look at them that's what they look, wanted look, that's what awesome. they wanted <laughs> what? Has That's everything. what they wanted. I was just teeing up the question for them. There we go. Is there any anything else, ladies, we need to talk about? No, just get it. <laughs> Qu- question. Did you know he was going to do that? Oh, my God. You, I never know what he's going to do. So you were like, hold, did, were you A, why did you do that? Or did you laugh about I laughed it? my ass off. Okay. Because I, I don't take that stuff too seriously. Yeah. And they were entertainers, he and I. Of course. So I can't. I really the things that I think that um a lot of girlfriends could get mad at, mm. I can't get mad at. And neither can he. Like I may have to give a lap dance in a video. He can't get mad at that. Mm. He may have to have some extra climbing all over him, kissing all on his body in a video. I literally can't get mad at that. But that's how we met each other. And you know, we still we respect each other, but at the end of the day, work is work and we keep that separate. Would you say that where you are in your perspective of your relationship, mm-hmm. um, have you matured into this or you've always thought this way? No, I've matured. I've, I think that I've matured. I think, um, you know, like my last situation, I learned a lot. I made so many mistakes and that's why um, people always go, oh, you you know, you talking so bad about your ex and your songs, but I don't just talk about him. I talk about the mistakes I made. It mm-hmm. takes two people to be in a relationship. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like women a lot of times and men too, we go, oh, well, they did this to me. They did it. Well, okay, well, what did you do? You allowed it. I allowed it. And so I think that into going into this relationship, relationship with Bob I um I just don't want to make the same mistake so I'm very like honest I'm very vocal he probably I probably get on his damn nerves sometimes but at least he can't say that I didn't tell him myself how I felt you know right like that's important to me so and I can't help it I write all my songs like that like literally like loving I I'm in this um in my, it's so funny I realized that I used to be more honest and open in my records than I was in my actual relationship mm. 
And that's why I like that honestly, was that was my outlet. But yeah. now I'm in a place where it's like, okay, I tell you exactly how I feel. But there was a point in time where I couldn't do that. So I wrote a love and competition that was talking about, okay, I feel like you might be, you know, talking to somebody else, and I don't know how to say it to your face. So I'm gonna say it in the song, like, you know, where you been? I called your phone at the same time I always call it, but you didn't pick up this time. Or, you know, I went by your mama house, but you weren't there. But your homeboy said you, like, I would really put it in songs because I could not vocal, you know, vocalize right, that to right. him. So, yeah, but yeah. are there certain things that are off limits in your relationship as far as you talking about it in your music? It's like, nah, let's not. No. You can't talk about this. Mm -mm. Like, uh, -uh. I, I talk about everything in my records. I, at least, I mean, I can't say, I, I'll never say never, but at this stage of my, of my, I guess, relationship and my, my career, I talk about whatever I feel. I sing about whatever I feel in my in my records because I feel like that's the only way to like, you know, evoke emotion out of people. Mm -hmm. Like people and relate to them and relate to yeah. them. Like people people don't realize that consumers they're they're smart. Like they're not dumb and they can sense what's fake and they can sense what's real. And so I I find that for me it's more you know effective when I put my whole everything my whole life my ups my downs my good days my bad days my tears my fears all of that shit into a record it it works out better for me and i feel better it's my therapy seven streeter yeah should have been there part one is available on itunes yes. google play all that right now it um is. you want to get into the record with bob that's yeah, the official let's, single yes that is my new single it's called should have been there and it's basically just talking about and it's for it's for everybody like everybody has you know that one person or a couple of people whatever who took you for granted who didn't appreciate you when they had you and you know they try to come back once you moved on with your life once you're in a better space like once they feel like damn i ain't got that text in a minute or yep. damn ain't got no phone call in a minute or damn they on the gram looking real good all right so you yes. have never taken a boyfriend back <laughs> yeah i that's what i'm telling you i've made mistakes mm. and i write and i've written about them i had a single call next saying how come True. my ex-boyfriend be my next boyfriend and it continued i kept going back so I write about my truth. Like, that's my truth. So I've definitely gone back. And I'm trying. I don't want to do that no more. I don't want to be in that space no more. So, God forbid, Bay, if anything ever happened, you know I love you. You know we still good. But now I'm not going back. <laughs> like, I'm just saying I'm not going back. But, yeah. Wow. I've done it. I've done it. But should have been there. It's for all the people that try to come back. You should learn from this back. young lady, Laura Styles. What are you talking about? You no. act like this is the first time me and Seven ever <laughs> have discussed relationships. We I, do a lot. What, what's interesting is that you said uh, about her next situation, because the last time I think we had a debate was about cheating and taking somebody back. And I said, yo, if somebody cheats on me, I don't think I could ever trust them and take them back. But right. she was like, I would give them another chance. Yeah. So it's interesting to hear her say that. Are you still in that same place? That I would take somebody back? Um, I, I don't want to. I really don't want to because it, it so hasn't worked out. you've changed. I She's feel grown. like I have. I feel like I'm growing, but... I never say never, but it, I'm in the place now where I know that it's not smart. Mm. You know what I mean? It's not smart. If it ended and it, and it ended how it did, it's for maturing. a reason. I don't know if I agree that that's really? maturing. Well, how, what do you feel it is? I, I Look, to each his own, first to and foremost. I think that, you know, it's the premise of the cheating. That okay. for me, even if my lady cheated, See, okay, now it's break the that down for me because that's the stuff I be getting mad about. Um, some people are really out here having whole other relationships, relationships. and lives and lives. Like okay. that's the whole like fam. Yeah, okay. this is crazy. Yeah. All right. You ran off with your friends and you know, y'all did whatever and it right. was just that and you came back. That's just that. Like it's that doesn't mean. So you think me. that I, I I should forgive you? No, if I you... think you should do what's best for your heart and for you. Okay. I'm just saying that when you get older and you put in a lot of time with someone and there's kids I involved I and there's that. See, that's this different. involved and that involved, you know what I like that's say? mature. Where you're like, check this out. I know you love me. We've been together for 15 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit got stale and you bugged out for and a second. I understand that. Just like because at, at a certain point. When you're in a real relationship, mm -hmm. it's family now. Yeah. This is family now. This is real life. In the same way that you get into it or have issues with families, the same way with your partner. Yeah. If it's really real and you're if building a life together and I a family that. together. So you got to, once again, it's the premise once yeah, it, right. to each yeah, his own. Yeah, it is. You know I what I mean? Always said, I always said this, that once I'm married, I always said that I would not leave my husband if I found out that he cheated one time. You know what I mean? It don't mean that I'm not going to put him through hell and high water and it's going to be, listen here. But I wouldn't leave my husband. I always say that. And, and I know some women don't feel like that. Some women do. But I understand what you mean, especially when there's more involved in their Even kids. Even if he had a thing. whole other family? 
See, yeah, whole, but that's not but one that's time. Different. That's yeah, not that's, one that's, time that's thing. Like, that's like you've been back and forth. You's playing my bills, her bills. Because can I tell you what's yeah, more intimate different. than sex? And people don't ever really like what? fam. Going to the movies, going on yes. vacation, absolutely. going to restaurants, oh, yes. Yes, hanging out yep. at this exactly. one, going to this one, yeah. watching to this and doing to that and repeat yes. it, repeat. That's way. Yeah. Look, sex is intimate, yeah. but having like a real relation on yeah. emotional yeah. thing is way deeper than just a one night jump off. It is. Do you think men can really, with their ego and everything, can really, really forgive the, their girl if they went off on vacation and cheated once? Not most. Because I don't no. think so. Really? Not most. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Not most. Well, what about if she just has sex with somebody? Because yeah, you that's said what I'm no, like that's what oh, that's what that's what that you couldn't. Boom, boom, I, don't, boom, I could. I'm fine. No, okay. Well, what if it was just like a drunken night with her girlfriends, and then she went out and you know messed around? Yeah, Same right. thing. I think I recover. I'd be upset. Really? I, but I, okay. I, we have a family. Where are we going? I got to huh. deal with you anyway. So what are we really talking about? Even huh. if I even if I want to go somewhere for the rest of my life and the rest of yours, because we have a child, mm -hmm. we still got to deal with each other. Because of, because of your child is that. You would not leave, and because I love her. Okay, like so, I love so if you. A baby so just because you fuck some other dude doesn't picture? mean you don't love me any right. less. That's, right. so, so if a baby wasn't in the picture, would it be different? Um, probably yeah. Okay. Probably yeah. I think that's you know the bo it. the commitment is the bond and the love between me and her, but then that child takes that bond and makes it even more substantial. Where we rocking. I get and when, it. And that, and that's why I waited till I was forty to have a child because I know yeah. what that means to me. Right. Yeah. I know that. If I decide to have a child with somebody, I'm going to let this thing go down and I'm going to make, you know, because I feel like men are in control up to a certain point. Yeah. Once you go in or you're unprotected, you leave it in and you want to, you know, spray up the club. <laughs> fam, now it's out of your control. And you should have thought about that before you decided to go that far with Amen. her. Amen. Right? Hey, but you got to be careful of who you're going to get into it with because there's going to be good days and bad days and good ye How about this? There's going to be bad years. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, an entire <laughs> year where that's you're like, that's real. I got parents that my parents have been together twenty something years. I, like, I, they're renewing their vows actually this December, which I'm really Beautiful. excited about. But I have seen them go through years. Yes, like of great moments. I've seen them go through like some of the crazy stuff. But honestly, and my if my mom was here, she would tell you both of them would. Where I'm like, okay, I don't know if if this they I, are we. Do I need to go we, call we a breaking lawyer? Up. We break uh, am I am I about to be spending Christmas yeah. in two different? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but that's some real stuff. And I watched them like work through it. It's like relationships, and you know, I know we, you know, I'm just in a. This is just my boyfriend. I'm just a girlfriend. You have it's different levels. You know yes. what I mean? It's boyfriend and girlfriends. It's fiancés when you're engaged yes. and then being married. Those are different levels. But what I feel like I picked up from my parents is that. No matter what level you you just gotta communicate and you gotta not be afraid to say how you feel. No matter how ugly it may come out, you have to do that. Like so, I, yeah, I learned that from my parents. Now let's just hope it, you know, it, it lasts me for a little while. You be alright. You young. <laughs> you young. You still do young. When you're young, you do young stuff and you make yeah. young decisions. And hopefully, you don't make a decision when you're young that is going to, to affect the rest. well plague you. Because mm. some people make decisions that are literally a black cloud hanging over their head, where it's a person that you got to deal with, wow. whether it's uh, something that's on your record or something you got to live with. Yeah. You got when you're young and you're making them emotional decisions, you got to take a step back, Ooh. time out, and be like, all right, what's yeah. this person really all about that I'm getting involved with? Yeah. And, you know, it's 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 a big weight on it. So we gotta have okay. So when we had this next, um, <laughs> no, because it's like I don't ever want these type of conversations to end. And like I literally, if we was in the studio, we would have a conversation, and I would go and start writing. As long as you got me some it. Avion, I'll be there. Listen man. here, you know, I'm gonna get y'all real liquored up, and we're gonna have a real conversation, and we're gonna write. I'm gonna write some records about it, cause yeah. Yeah, We're it's going to be a should have been there part two. But now it should have <laughs> right, been so there you part been, one. You've been with a guy 15 years. Yes. Can he, at 15 years, 20 years of y'all being together? Kids or no kids? No, y'all, I mean, uh, kids. Okay. If you've been together 20 years, you ain't got kids, then, I, you know. I, hey, God some forbid, people don't want different. God forbid, but, you know, whatever. You're judging. Um, I am. Um, <laughs> so judging. Side, can he have a side piece or not? Nah? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, hands Lord down. Lord Styles. Oh, man. No. I always say, like, oh. if my dude, if you going to cheat or do something, you better not ever let me so, find out So he can have it. side pieces as long as he's not having a relationship I can't, with. I can't get mad about what I don't know about. I, I can't. I, it's like me getting mad because I had a sandwich. I don't want to know. You don't. Somebody. And look, I have a theory. I, I have a theory. Mad. I have a theory. Um, no. And shout out to, this was actually a gem from Rosenberg's father. Mm, okay. Rosenberg said, is not here today? Rosenberg yeah, that one. Oh, that, okay. Who said... Yeah. 
oftentimes when people cheat, they feel so guilty and it's such a burden that they go and they tell their partner hmm. and now put that burden on oh, them right to make themselves feel better right when you were the one that fucked up in the beginning yeah. your partner doesn't know they get tired of carrying that bag and they get tired of carrying they that bag so that they bag hand off. that shit off and it destroys their relationship yep because yeah. that's what shit I say. happens I, if it does happen and i don't know about it keep it that way because because that falls in the category you know a lot of people will be like you know i want to know i want to know i it. don't want to know that shit Nothing. you don't want to know yeah you don't want to know you're everything. not prepared you That's can't reason handle why the women truth don't go snooping the oh, snooping man. thing i think the snooping thing is dangerous i get stressed don't out about go that. through the phones don't go through the text yeah, messages don't, don't go through the emails don't do that like i at least i don't know you've had people who do it and maybe whatever but and you've done it in the past Actually, no. Never. I've never? I've, I've never snooped. I swear to God. Like, if it was a Bible, I'd put my hand on the Bible. I've never snooped. I found out that he cheated, and then I went looking. I'm like, okay, so who's the girl you cheated with? But I haven't, you know, felt some type of way and went, where's this, where's this nigga phone at? Let me go find his phone. I've never done that. I've always been blindsided by it, the truth be told. I've you done that I mean? in the past. You but, sure. but now I wouldn't do it. Now And you found something. You went looking and you and found yeah, something. Yeah, it's what I thought. And I think I, huh. I needed it as just to... Just to just to solidify my decision, I'm like, yeah, I gotta get out of this relationship. Uh, but then, I, well, this is just gonna keep on going, Seven. <laughs> it's just gonna keep on going. Well, because then there's there's, a, there's a piece of it where dudes leave dudes leave clues because they don't have the heart to break up with a woman. You think so? I Listen, know, I've done it. We, we have I've this discussion when I said, why are men such pussies? Damn. If you're not happy in a relationship, just tell, tell me. Tell, like, yes, tell, I'm a grown ass. No, you're not. No, let no, me you're tell not. you something. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm a yeah. grown no, ass not. woman, no, okay? No, you're not. If you, I don't, no, you're not. None me, of you are. No, no, you know no, why? Because I'm going to tell you why. Can I finish my... Let me. Okay, you finish yours and then I'm going. I'm going to tell you why. Most men know this. If we was to tell y'all the truth, like, yo, I love you. I'm just bored to fucking death of having sex with you. I want you to tell me. And I don't want to be in this relationship with you anymore. That's and I don't want to be in this relationship with you anymore. Let's break the, up. That's not going to. Okay, can I finish? Sorry. Okay, finish. The Sorry. next statement is, <laughs> let's. can we talk about it? And we're like, fuck, if we talk about it, then she's going to get emotional. And then we're going to, it won't be, actually be broken up. And dudes, y'all know what I'm talking about. Then, okay, so fuck it. We talk about it. We go out to dinner. We go on. Then we start drinking. Then we end up fucking again. And she's like, so, you know, I thought, you know, and you're like, I really don't want to be in this relationship anymore. And she's like, but I know you love me and I know you care about it. So you end up going in this vicious fucking <laughs> cycle. For and uh, so instead to give it closure and to give y'all a reason to be like, yo, fuck you, I fucking hate you, we leave clues so that then y'all could be like, That's yo, horrible. I fucking can't stand you. And we'll be like, yeah, finally, yes. You're such a piece of shit. I can't stand I'm you. Just right telling y'all the truth. <laughs> I cannot. Go ahead, Seven. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, god damn it. <laughs> um, no, I want you to tell me. I know you do. But let me tell you why. Me too. Because honestly, keep, let's keep it all the way 100. And right. I don't know, I don't know if other women are like if this. If I wasn't keeping it 100 by that last statement, okay, then you, ain't okay, no you kept it 100. You kept it 100. No it you kept it 100. But let me just say, like, I'm confident enough in myself. Truth be this is, mm, okay, this goes so deep. God just damn say it. it. I know Yo. I got bomb. Nah, Draws I just well, I just know that nigga, I'm, I know my him, worth, and I know I'm bummed. It. It's right. plenty of other niggas yes. that want it. Even yes. while we're in relationships yes. with y'all, yes. it's niggas that yes. want it, and yes. niggas don't care that we in a relationship yes. with y'all. Yes. So if you don't want it, someone else does. Tell me. Yes. Let me know. And if it's something, if I feel like it's worth it, and we need to work, and like for example, if it's the sex, if you feel like okay, I'm like you said, I'm tired of having sex with you, or whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be like, okay, well, cool. I'm gonna try if it's. I feel like it's worth it. But like, well, babe, let's go hang from some chandelier. Is the night. Oh, if that don't work, oh, let's go get on the plane and do a mile house mile club. I don't want to do we'll that try with to you. figure. And if you don't want to, nah, I feel you. If you don't want to, I, want you, I just want to be gone, man. Let me okay, leave, well then man. just say that. Like, I think you know what it is. I think a lot of times too. Y'all don't want y'all. I think built, that. Man. No, I'm telling, I'm telling you. <laughs> I think that is y'all are not built uh, fair. because a lot We're, of times y'all you know feel like y'all feel like that y'all. Let me finish. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. I feel like, <laughs> I hate you, I feel like y'all think that we're so emotional nope, that's not that, we, that we'll want to like, let you know, that we'll want to hold on after no, you, you say you don't want to no more. No, you know, we, Hush. Feel, we feel like y'all won't stop talking and y'all won't let us the fuck out Listen of the goddamn relationship. If you say you want to get out of it, we will. I just told you, I don't want you hanging from no shit in the want <laughs> I want to go out. You can go out, but all you got to do is say, listen here, I'm not happy, I don't want to talk about it, let's just end it. 
Just say it. Yeah, and I, even if a girl come back uh, and like, no, I want to talk about like, you know what? I really don't want y'all don't y'all think that we just gonna be so emotional. <laughs> it's not God. No, we just think y'all gonna talk us to death. No, we and not make other fucking plans. No, we and not. I'm telling you with a woman anymore. You don't need any convincing. You're like, oh, then we're gonna drink, then we're gonna have sex. Like, but because what woman you wanna beg a convincing. nigga to be with him? As long we don't wanna beg y'all to be with y'all. Yo, we don't wanna beg. Fellas, y'all see, y'all see. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. I swear. We don't want but the thing is they don't understand we don't, what woman wants to beg a man to be with them oh, that what shit woman don't wants feel to be good with a man that doesn't want to be with them no They'll be leave, those women will be leaving comments in this YouTube section okay fine <laughs> leave the comments cause I wanna know shoot I cause swear cause there's a there's fucking thousands of them that you'd be like yo check this out fam if you don't stop texting me my nigga you know, gonna, I done told you 400 different ways I don't wanna fuck you leave me alone <laughs> oh my god <laughs> You're my cinnamon apple. Oh my god, you're my cinnamon. <laughs> but you're my cinnamon apple. <laughs> yo, seven is always yo, great. I, yo. hate, I hate both of y'all, yo. Yeah. I swear. <laughs> Why okay, did I, I get thrown into the box? I, I don't hate you. But this <laughs> nigga over here, yeah. I swear. <laughs> oh my god, yo, y'all are crazy. Get, get with seven. <laughs> if you're not a fan, she's one of the most amazing songwriters in the game. It's oh written for god. everybody R and B that we love, and she got a new project. Should have been there. Part one, always good to see you. Yes. You guys Love give it up for seven, yeah. yo.